Inside Kresge Hall, Northwestern undergraduate students are constantly creating art. You know, I'm really interested in that moment when you are first drawn to it, and then it kind of like backfires. Like there's something disturbing about it after you kind of sit with it for a moment. Like I don't know if it's in the way the colors are placed next to each other or in the structure of the painting, but there's something weird about these usually. So, um, well, there's a long tradition of oil painting that I I really enjoy. Like um, you know that it's so old and it's a very traditional paint that you can do very untraditional things with. I'm really interested in the process of actually just like grappling with color and the actual mass of paint. There's something really like comforting in smearing things around on a surface. This big pink painting over here was the first like really abstracted work that I ever did. So there's something kind of like, I don't know, nostalgic about the first one I did. <laughs> My parents enrolled me in art classes when I was like probably about five or six and I took painting and drawing and I sort of developed more of a love for 2D than 3D as a result of that. Um, so I'm less sculpture, more painting and drawing, um, design, stuff like that. I do it in a very methodical, logical sort of way. I'm very detail oriented. Um, I really like pieces that have some sort of math or science basis. But the project that I'm working on right now actually has been something really different from anything I've ever done before. Um, in the sense that it's interactive and supposed to be like on a social space kind of connectivity uh, level. So basically what I'm doing is I'm starting a blog called Tag It With A Sharpie. I want people to take that Sharpie um, find some sort of piece of you know everyday life, something that means something to them. It can be anything you know as small as a trash can to a huge building, um, and sign it. And basically, put ownership on that piece, but at the same time, also give it some sort of significance. While the undergraduates work in Kresge, graduate students create their art in the studios at 629 Colfax Street. I uh, work primarily on collaborative performance, and I work in Chicago with two different collaborative performance groups. One called Lucky Pierre and the other one's called Cupola Baba, and we make usually evening-length performances that um, are non-narrative in nature, generally in involve somewhat abstract imagery, and uh, seek to create a new experience for the audience in some way. We hope that it's complex enough, and we think that it's complex enough, uh, that depending on how it goes, and depending on the people that see it, it really can be a different thing each night. Pour me a glass of sherry, and I'll tell you all about it. We finished it in premiere in New York at the QR Foundation in January of 2007. Um, and so since then we've been working on our next performance. And the text of the performance right now is talking a lot about clouds and imbuing a lot of uh, sort of anthropomorphizing clouds to a certain extent. So this is a prototype for a cloud machine. And so ideally there would be a number of these and they would be uh, arranged on the stage and then at different points. So this would be filled with water, water would be leaking out from this bucket into that bucket. And once there's enough water out of this bucket, it would go like that and then the cloud would move across the space. Northwestern graduate students come from schools across the country. Ellie Barrowman studied at the Kansas City Art Institute. I went to the painting department and I uh, realized um, I didn't want to paint anymore, so I started sewing and then I was sewing on stretched fabric and uh, it really couldn't do what a uh, sculpture could do. There was no weight, there was no um, feeling of the body, and I think that's what I wanted. I pick things for uh, their physical quality. Um, so I started just working with insulation because I, a lot of my work deals with the body um, and kind of abject things. So I started uh, using the insulation because it looks like kind of like fat flesh tissue. But it started out as this kind of sculpture I was building and I, I think I'm going to do uh, insulation where I fill a room with it. Um, and then the back I think might have mold in it and it might be like a feeling of like you can smell it. and. It, kind of overwhelm your senses and it'll be warm and insulating. Um, it's a mess in here, <laughs> that's how I explain it. Um, I'm also a pack rat, so um, uh, a lot of my work deals with like material excess sometimes. I tend to work um, in a kind of central figure kind of a manner um, with kind of, it looks kind of like a queen, kind of like royalty, kind of like um, I don't know, that's what I always think about my work. I really like Victorian culture and it, and also the power that um, someone can have in the way they dress. I, I worked in costume for a while. I, I really like sewing. So um, I always think about that stuff and it almost happens uh, subconsciously too. I just start building forms and they always 
are pleasant to look at even though they're gross. And I usually uh, figure out what I want to do as I'm going. And I also, I create a lot of uh, problems that way, so I learn what I don't want real quickly. Um, and I, uh, I, have to, I have to make a lot of mistakes to figure out what I don't want, which is actually really a good learning process. Well, I mainly construct these paintings from collages, from um, magazines. I choose like really well-produced, slick um, photographs and then kind of like change them and um, manipulate them so that they're kind of like the dystopia version of these. So yeah, so it's supposed to be kind of like nice at first, but eventually kind of sneaks up on you and like is a little bit disturbing. I, I would say maybe, you know how people get excited about photography because they don't know what's going to happen? That drives me nuts, but something about working and discovering while I'm making is um, exciting for me. I would say the process usually begins with some sort of inspiration that's current in my life at the moment. Um, this project that I've been doing uh, for my installation class now actually sort of just came about of some things that have been happening in my life. Um, and like paintings that I've had in the past are sort of impacted by the things that I see and um, people that I meet. They usually start with a question and then research leads out from there. Um, so a uh, question, for instance, could be, what is it, what is it uh, that makes it feel, uh, what is the feeling we have when we lay on the engine hot hood of a car and look at the stars? That's sort of a full or sublime thing. How do we pull that apart and how do we make an hour and a half performance that sort of is about that feeling or can generate that feeling?